Today I'm playing a scary game called Outlast. At least I've heard it's scary. Because Amnesia, a machine for pigs, ended up just frustrating me after a certain point because I couldn't solve a lot of the puzzles, so I think I'm just an idiot and I can't finish that game, but maybe this will be different. But maybe it won't, I don't know. I guess I'll find out the hard way. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth, always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. I almost read that as firefighter for some reason. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Sounds like my kind of game. But we won't know for sure unless we play. Everybody's been talking about this, and it was recommended to me because it was legitimately scary or something. Are there subtitles? Hold on. Options. Show subtitles. Yes, please. I don't know if this radio is saying something important or not. There go there goes our radio. It's all downhill from here. Mount Massive Asylum. I would have already turned around at this point. The gate is wide open. There's nobody at the security box. This is already a bad situation. What do I do? How do I, how do I leave? Uh oh. We got a folder. September 7th, that year, subject, somebody. You don't know me, have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at that place, psychiatric systems facilities in Mount Massive. It's a weird name for a mountain. It's just, it's too, it's too bland. It's, it's not, uh, but then again, we did call the Rocky Mountains the Rockies because they have rocks in them, I guess. All sorts of NDAs I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening here. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Some of that scary sound that plays every single time I start the pause menu or unpause the game. It is misleading. Whoa, night vision. When do I get to play? Now? No? Look at this. This mansion is right out of a Scooby-Doo episode. Yeah, that makes sense. Nobody, nobody did anything. And this just closed by itself. That's, that's great. This is some serious sensitivity here. The mouse is like, jerky and twisty. Can I not, is there a force field? Oh, there we go. What does this say? What the? That doesn't... I can... Oh, I can see my feet and everything. I can crouch pretty damn low there. So, I don't know the password. I guess we're leaving. Bye-bye now. Why is there barbed wire? This isn't a prison. Or is it? 
To open a door quickly, press left mouse button to open... Oh, I didn't get to... Oh. Whatever. Whatever. To raise your camcorder, press right mouse button. Alright. And, uh, oh, we can zoom... Whoa. We can zoom pretty far there. <gasps> you! Hey, I saw you. Event recorded. Adding a note in your notebook. Press N to read it. Even close the window. Mount Massive Asylum. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum. I'm just... I can't... I'm not gonna say that. I'm just gonna call it the Asylum. That takes like 10 years to say. Shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place as to be big might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Why don't, why don't you call the cops? I... 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 I would have just left the second, you know, you can tell your phone has been jammed. It's time to turn around and call the cops. What, what, are, are these, what are these? These like military, no, they're not military, they're like, they're something, I don't know. Are these just supply trucks? I mean, everything's abandoned, this, this place is clearly... Not something you want to be investigating. I think I just heard somebody scream. Oh, what do you know? The front door is locked. Can't really see. Is that a person? Is that an eyeball? I think it's just a light. Yeah, it's just a light. Alright then. Mount Massive Asylum. I'm just gonna call it the asylum. That, that takes like forever to say. <gasps> Who broke this? That's coming out of somebody's paycheck. Am I crawling or am I crouching? Sounds like I'm crawling. <laughs> oh, hold on. This might be my ticket in. My ticket into death! Or not. <laughs> Jump over that. Alley you. With the camcorder active, you can zoom in and out. Okay, well. I already knew that. Thanks for telling me about something I already knew. Always appreciate that. I like that the notifications take up the entire screen pretty much. And I'm not being sarcastic about that either. Music, can you shut up? I'm trying to I'm trying to talk to the people. I like that the notifications are really obvious and not like they are in Grand Theft Auto V where they just sort of incons inconspicuously show up in the top left corner and I always miss half of them. That's nice. It's a nice change of pace. Completely different games, but I like it when tutorial stuff is made obvious to me. Because when I'm recording it's easy to miss. Oh, no you didn't. Um, to activate the night vision on your camcorder, press F when your camera is raised. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's better. It's much better. Now I can see. See, look at that. They gave me the tutorial. It was obvious and up front. And now... I know how to do night vision. I'm getting screen tear, which is a real bitch. You hear that? What's up? Oh, it is me. Okay. It's a little confused. What the? You look angry, sir. Look at that guy. He just he just witnessed something that he did not want to see. Or maybe he's just got like big fat shit lodged in his butt, and he has to go shit it out. <sighs> Spooky. And supernatural. Dust. Lots of dust. 
That was really loud. Can you not? Can I hit this thing? How do I? This is no way to hit anything, as far as I can tell. Oh, hold on. Notes. Documents. Guess we've got nothing new to read. To squeeze through, move towards the gap. Oh, cool. I don't have to solve the Da Vinci Code to move through a gap. Look at this. A anything? <gasps> a battery. I can reload by pressing R. And... Oh, look at that. I've got plenty of battery left. Splendid. Let's close that. Holy shit. You didn't need to slam it, son. It's a little unnecessary. Oh, confidential. Should hang up that phone. It's not gonna let me hang up the phone. Well, the project Wallrider patient status report for William Hope. Therapy status: patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphine engine activi activity <laughs> observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage four hormone schedule. Diagnostics, spirometry, spirometry, something. Reveal no bronchial accumulation. Hematocrit, centrifuge, again, failed to separate erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. The fucking level of vocabulary on this document is highly worrisome. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood, uh, blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Not sure, that's getting annoying actually. Every single time I... <sighs> Every... Ooh, blood. Maybe now is the time to leave, huh? Why, why don't we just leave? But no, we're not gonna leave because this guy's... This guy's an idiot. Let me in. I know you're in there. Stop hogging the bathroom. Bet you're doing... Bet you're... Bet you're doing naughty things in there, huh? Recording this. Okay, I guess... I guess they're not gonna open. Slam that bitch shut. All right, loud noises, um, some haggis, oh, some haggis right there, let me get this on film, I gotta document the sheep intestines. Ew, it's a pretty pixely looking soda can there. Oh yeah, let's just hop in this, now there's blood falling from the ceiling, like, this reporter is an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna stick around. I'm just gonna see what's going on. I might get a store. I might die, but you know. I might get gutted and have my blood fall through the ceiling, but. What the? <gasps> you! You! You were the one touching yourself in the bathroom. You sick son of a bitch. I'll catch you on tape next time. All right. It's really blurry through that window. Not sure what that's about. It's a little confusing. This guy didn't even have a head, and he screamed at me. Did anybody else see the problem with that? You need a head to scream. Oh, hey, here's another headless body. This is odd. I think this is the point where you leave, right? Am I am I not correct? Ugh. Are there any batteries around here? I could use another battery. God. Okay, this took a really sharp turn for the worst. Ooh! Someone save this man! They killed us! You caught out! The very... You can't fight them! 
You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors. Go to security and control. <laughs> you have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. I could just go out the way I came in, couldn't I? I don't know why. I wouldn't be able to. Whew. This guy and his twin got killed. Look at this. That's that's one head that looks like that. And then there's another right there. It's like match him up or something. Oh shit, I'm wasting battery. I should get the hell out of here. Alright, how do, I, how do I leave? No. I need to zoom. Okay. I zoomed all the way out. Where do I go? Let me go this way. 